launch and this platform actually holds all of our products so from first and third week to the last term blah 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 and stuff the things that you need to one and for the launching of this blog site which is essentially uh, there is no demand for it it's just a bit more efficient so for a new product we normally go through this project of
So when they create a let's say a migration, let's say they want a migration, connect the way to the new ones of people, so it's not all. Then they find that migration to create a place for that all. And in that way, they create the right things like this. So now we see something that has been started and then doing it. And from there, this is the people who also do this ID to actually define my best workflow. So I know that the workflow, the best workflow of people, so I'm looking for the best workflow of people. And of course, they all have to do it with each other. Okay? And from then, once we have analyzed and once we have studied this, we have to do the refining stuff, how we are doing it, how we are doing it, and how we are something like this. So I started with something like this. And this is where we define the items. So this is where we use the Excel sheet. This is where we define the items. This is where we define the items. So, by the way, we've got a form, we can find out how they do this design, and the body, trade fashion, and features. And every element of this status across all the sites, unless it's still not right. So, the names are the same for... Okay, so, from here, yes. I'm going to get this. All the data are already going to rise and it's a part of the data or PDF account which is and they are all going to be based on what they need so for example if Sean Hatch is not going to go to a balance page there's no need for this so we can find out the things that you don't need but otherwise you don't have the things that you actually need so if you go to this space and you can see this sort of brown color the top and you can find the color that you see here it means something. So when you go through uh, the different kind of changes, the color change. So when you have change in this world, because you use test flow, that means the three kind of changes that they have. So right now, uh, this one is called the right? We will prepare it and we define the different requirements. So now I will say that we have a, I want to say the proprietary thing, but I don't know where it is. Like bundles, for example. Those uh, lead packs, for example, that kind of stuff. So, when I define those, I can create stuff at the next phase one. And the next phase one, uh, okay, this is, let's say I have 30 pages, for example. So, the next phase one basically just means that all of a sudden you can do things around that. Bear in mind, what we do here is it's something just regression testing and integrated testing. That's all we do, really, in a nutshell. So, I want to do some pages, a full regression test. And then we'll show you how to do it all. And we'll show you how to do it all. And then we'll show you how to do it all. And then we'll show you how to do it all. Yes. 